morning students and welcome to today's class so in the previous class we were doing multiplication and division correct so in last class we did multiplication by one digit multiplier in today's class we will be studying how to do multiplication with two digit multipliers all right so in last class we saw what is multiplication so uh, multiplication it is nothing but repeated addition of two numbers correct now there are some terms you need to know when you are studying multiplication so first term is the multiplicand so what is the meaning of a multiplicand the number which is being multiplied is called the multiplicand okay then the number by which it is multiplied that is called the multiplier so number which is being multiplied is called multiplicand then the number which is multiplied is called the multiplier all right so the answer that you get after when you multiply two numbers that is called the product what is it called it is called the product okay so we saw one digit multiplier so we just multiply each digit of the multiplicand with the single digit multiplier okay and if the place value if the value in any place exceeds 9 it is regrouped and carried over to the next place So here we did saw an example of two hundred and fifteen into four. Now here two hundred and fifteen is the multiplicand, and four is the multiplier. Okay, so we write two hundred and fifteen and four like this. Then we multiply four fives up. How much is four fives up? Four fives up is twenty. So we write zero here and carry over two to the next place. Okay, then four ones are four. Four plus two six. So we write six here and four twos are. Eight. So what's the answer here? The answer here is eight hundred and sixty. All right. So this is how you do multiplication using one digit multiplier. Then we saw the example of one thousand three hundred and eight into seven. So here, what is the multiplicand? The multiplicand here is one thousand three hundred and eight, and the multiplier is seven. So when you multiply eight ones into seven, you get fifty six ones. So we regroup. Then we write six ones and carry over the five tens. Okay, then seven zeros are. And whenever you multiply any number with zero, you get zero only. So seven into zero is zero, and plus this five that we have carried over is five. So then seven three zero. So how much is seven three zero? It is twenty one. So we write one and carry over two. Then seven one zero seven plus that two nine. So that is nine thousand one hundred and fifty six. So that is multiplication using one digit multipliers. Okay, and we also had seen what are the properties of multiplication. What are the different properties of multiplication? When you multiply, uh, when you are multiplying two numbers, you can multiply them in any order. Your final product will remain the same. For example, five six is thirty, and if I change the order of the number six five is also thirty only. Okay, now same way when we are multiplying more than two numbers, or for example, if we are multiplying three numbers, so you can multiply these three numbers in any order, and your final answer or your product will not change; it will remain the same. Okay, then we have uh, multiplying by zero. So whenever you multiply a number by zero, your final product is zero only. Okay, then. The next is multiplying by one. So when you multiply any number by one, your product will be that number itself. For example, sixteen into one. So sixteen ones are is sixteen, or sixteen into one is sixteen only. Okay, so the product will be the number itself. So these are the properties of multiplication. Now what we'll do is we'll study how to do multiplication using two digit multipliers. Last class we studied one digit multiplier. Now we'll see two digit multipliers. Okay, so now before we start that, we'll see how to. Uh, first we'll see the method of multiplying a number by ten, hundred, and its multiples. For example, here they've told twenty seven into ten is two seventy, forty eight into hundred is four thousand eight hundred, thirty four into twenty is now twenty. We can write it as two into ten. So thirty four into two into ten. Now see here. Observe to that to find twenty four into twenty. We multiply thirty four into two and add a zero at the ones place. Now similarly, 
62 into 400. So what we are doing here was 27 into 10. What we did, we will just do 27. We will write 27 as it is. And in 10 we have how many zeros? We have 1 0. So we will put a 1 We will put 1 0 after 27. Same way here. 48 into 100. We will write 48. And in 100 we have 2 zeros. So we will put 2 zeros after 100. Here now in 34 into 20. What we will do? This 20. What you can do is you can just multiply this 2 and 34. So when you multiply 34 into 2 you get 60. And here we have 1 0. 68. So we will put 1 0 after 68. So that is 680. Now same way here. 62 into 400. So you can either write it as 62 into 4 into 100. 4 into 100 is 400 only. Okay, so then you can multiply 62 with 4. When I multiply, I will get 248. And in 100, we have 2 zeros. So we will write 2 zeros after 248. So that is 24,800. So that is we multiply 68 in, 62 into 4 and add 2 zeros for the tens and ones place. So perform this activity to see the process of multiplying a two digit by a two digit number. Alright. So that is uh, basically how you do uh, multiplying a number by 10, 100 and its multiples. Now find the product 27 into 31. Now here what is a multiplicand? Multiplicand is 27 and 31 is the multiplier. So now this 31, when you expand it, you can write it as 30 plus 1. Okay, so when we multiply with the tens digit of the, uh, here we multiply each digit of the multiplicand with the ones digit of the multiplier. We then multiply with the tens digit of the multiplier and insert a zero at the ones place. So I'll tell you what it is we are doing. So here if you see, first we multiply 27 with the ones place. Now in 31, ones place there is 1. So we will multiply 27 with 1 first. Okay. So here 1 7 are is how much? 1 7 are is 7 only. Then 1 2 za, 1 2 za is 2. So 27 into 1 is 27. Now what we will do? We will multiply 27 with the tens place. Now the tens place here is 3 or 3 tens which is 30. Okay, it is 30, not 3, it is 30. So, we multiply 27 with 30. Now, uh, we saw previously how we multiplied whenever it was a multiple of 10, we write the 0 in the 1's place. Now, th in 30, 0 is there in 1's place, so we will write 0 in 1's place and then multiply 27 with 3. So, 3 7 is how much? 3 7 is 21. So, we write 1 here and carry over. Okay, we carry over 2. This should be 2, not 1. Okay, we carry over 2. Then, 3 2 is 6 and 6 plus 2 is 8. So, we will write 8 here. Now, then what we do? We got these two numbers. We multiplied. We will add them now. 7 plus 0 is 7. 2 plus 1 is 3 and 0 plus 8 is 8. So, what is the answer? Answer is 837. Okay, same way. Let's see another example. So, we will have perfect in uh, how to do it. Now, find the product of 384 into 43. So, first of all, we will write it like this in the table. 384 into 43. Then, what we will do? First, we will multiply 384 with the ones place in 43 which is 3. So, 384 into 3. 3 fours are is 12. So, you write 2. Carry over 1. And then, 3 eights are 24. 24 plus 1, 25. So, we will write 5 and carry over 2. Then, 3 threes are 9. 9 plus 2, 11. So, we have 1, 1, 5, 2. Now, what we will do? We will multiply with the tens digit. That is 40. So, we will do 384 into 40. So, the 0 of the 40 will write here in 1's place. Okay, and then we'll multiply with 4. So, 4 4s are 16. So, we write 6 and carry over 1. 4 8s are 32 plus 1, 33. So, write 3 and carry over 3. Then, 4 3s are 12. Okay, and 12 plus 3, 15. So, then we got, we multiply. Now, we'll add. So, 2 plus 0, 2. 5 plus 6, 11. So, write 1, carry over 1. 
then 1 plus 1, 2 and 2 plus 3, 5, 1 plus 5, 6 and 0 plus 1, 1. So the answer here is 16,512. Okay, so this is how you do multiplication of two digit numbers. Then uh, we have to verify. Okay, sometimes they'll ask you to verify if your answers are correct or wrong. So how do you verify the, uh, how do you verify multiplication? So first, uh, there's a method called digit sum method. What is it called? It is called digit sum method. So how, how do you do verification by digit sum method? First, what you will do is find the digit sum of the multiplicand. So now what was the multiplicand here? The multiplicand was 384 and the multiplier was 43. So digit sum means all the digits that are there in the multiplicand, you add that. So 384. So I'll add 3 plus 8. It is 11 and 11 plus 4, 15. So we get 15. Now we keep adding the digits till we get a one digit answer. Now we here we have 15. So we do 1 plus 5. So how much is 1 plus 5? 1 plus 5 is 6. Okay, and then what we do? We'll find the digit sum of the multiplier. The multiplier here was 43. So 4 plus 3, 7. Okay, so we found the digit sum of the multiplicand then we found the digit sum of the multiplier now what we'll do we'll find the product of the digit sums that is 6 and 7 so we'll find the product of this how much is 6 7 is 6 7 is 42 now once we do this if the number is a two digit number then we'll find the digit sum of that product also so 4 plus 2 is 6 now we got 6 here Okay, so product of the digit sum is 6. Now what we do find the digit sum of the product. There the product was 16,512. So what you do you find the digit sum of the product. So we do 1 plus 6 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2. So when I do that I will get 15. And then again I will do 1 plus 5, 6. Now if you see step 3 and 4 both the answers are 6. Correct, both are same. So that means your answer is correct. So you will do it as you solve the questions. You will understand how to do it. Okay. So basically this is how you do multiplication with a two digit multiplier. Alright. Now uh, what we will do is we will solve the questions which are given in your textbook. So exercise 3.2 on page number 119. Okay, so here first question they have told write the product. So 25 into 30. So what you will do first you will multiply 25 with 3. So how much you will get when you do 25 into 3? You will get 75. And then they will write 0 here in 1's place. So 750. Okay, then 37 into 200. So first we multiply 37 with 2. So 37 into 2 is... 74 okay 37 into 2 is 74 and then we'll add two zeros because there are two zeros in 200 so 7400 all right so 37 into 2 is 200 is 7400 then c1 what is the c1 253 into 50 correct so when you do that what you'll get first what you have to do you have to do 253 into 5 so how much is 253 into 5? When you multiply, you'll get 1, 2, 6, 5. And in 50, we have 1, 0. So we'll add 1, 0 here. Then 218 into 400. So first we multiply 218 with 4. And then how much we get when you do that? You get 8, 7, 2. And then we put 2 zeros. Then 69 into 50. So how much is 69 into 5? First we do 69 into 5 which is 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5 and 0. So 3450. Okay. Then 623 into 17. Now first we will multiply 623 with 7. So 623 into 7 when you do you will get 4361. And then we have 10 so we will put 10. So the answer is 43000. 610. 
then we have 415 into 800. Now what we'll do 415 into 8. So 415 into 8 when you do you will get 3320 and another 20 you will add. So you have 332,000. Okay then 27 into 300. So 27 into 3 we do will get 81 and in 300 we have 2 zeros so 2 zeros will add. So that is 8,100. Uh, 8, okay so this was question 1. Now to do question 2 they have told multiply the following and verify your answer. So you have to multiply these numbers and also we have to verify the answer. So let's solve those questions. So, the first question is 43 into 23. So, here 43 is the multiplicand, 23 is the multiplier. Okay, so now what we do? First, we will multiply 43 into 3 because 3 is there in the tens place, ones place in 23. Correct, so we will do 43 into 3. So, 3 threes are how much? 3 threes are 9. So, we will write 9 here. And then 3 4s are is 12. So we write 12. So 129. Now what we do? We do 43 into 20. So how much is 43 into 20? We'll do first uh, we write the 0 in 1's place. And then we do 43 into 2. So 2 3s are 6. And 2 4s are 8. So 860. Now we got 129 and 860. Now we'll add that. So let me add that. 9 plus 0 9. 2 plus 6, 8 and 1 plus 8, 9. So, 989 is the answer. Okay, then we have the verification. They have asked you to do verification also. So, how do you do verification? In the first step, you find the digit sum of the multiplicand. Here the multiplicand is 43. So, 4 plus 3 is how much? It is 7. Then in the next step, we uh, add, find the digit sum of the multiplier which is 23. So, 2 plus 3 is 5. Now we find the product of the digit sum. So, so 7 into 5 which is 35. Now 35 we add again 3 plus 5, 8. So that is 8. And then the product uh, digit sum of the products that is 989. Okay. So 9 plus 8 plus 9 you get 26 and 2 plus 6 you get as 8. Now step 3 and step 4 has same answers. It means that your answer is correct. Both are equal to 8. Okay, so this was the first question. Then we have 27 into 82. So 27 into 82. First we multiply 27 with 2. Which is 54. Okay, then we multiply 27 with 80. So when you do the multiplication, you will get 2160. Now we are adding the, both the numbers. We have 2 plus 0, 4. 5 plus 6, 11. So, write down 1 and carry over 1. 1 plus 1, 2 and then 2. So, 2214. Okay, now to find the verification, we do, two, first we add the digits of the multiplicand. Multiplicand here is 27. So, 2 plus 7, 9. Then what we'll do? Second step is to find the digit sum of the multiplier. That is 80. 2. So, 8 plus 2 is how much? It is 10. Now, 10 is a 2 digit number here. So, we add the digits again. So, 1 plus 0. How much is 1 plus 0? It is 1. So, okay. Then, we do product of the digit sum. So, 9 into 1 is 9. Okay. In the next step, we will find the digit sum of the product. That is 2214. So, 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 4 you get. 9. Okay, now both step 3 and step 4 again, both answers are 9. So, your answer is correct. Same way, do, way we will do all the rest of the problems. So, 345 into 21. So, first we multiply 345 with 1. Then we will we'll get 345 only. Then we will do 345 into 20. So, when you do that, you will get 6,900. Okay, then we add 345 plus 6,900, we get 7,245. So, verification also, first you do 3 plus 4 plus 5, that is 345, you add all the digits, you will get 12. 
so 1 plus 2 3 okay then the digit sum of 21 2 plus 1 3 then 3 into 3 you get 9 and we add the digits of the product so 7 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 you get it as 18 so 1 plus 8 9 so both are 9 so your answer is correct that is 7245 so these are the problems okay so this is the d problem so i hope you'll have understood how to do multiplication and how to do verification so for your homework complete these problems in your books okay i'll show you all which problems which we did just now the four problems we did just now and also the remaining problems which are there for your homework so here uh, we did a b c now the rest of that you all have to try to do it on your own and get the answers and verify your answer using the digit sum method okay i'll give you all the answers for the questions in the next class all right i'll see you all in the next class we'll study multiplication by three digit multipliers in the next class okay Thank you.